one of the things since you brought brought it up from last night that he does is he he looks to give those people that might have a difficult time finding a job, whether it's their background or maybe there's some drug issues there or, or something like that. He's real interested in those type of people because uh, you'll find now and again that some of those types of people that have gone through like really difficult struggles in their life. Um, you know, if you're if you're living in a neighborhood that uh, you just grew up and there's gangs and there's this and there's drugs and that's your way of life. A lot of people get out of that. A lot of people don't. Most of them, you know, go to jail or die. The ones that go to jail, a lot of times get do get rehab. They do go through AA or through drug rehabilitations. They get on the programs that are available and they become really, really good citizens, but they just can't find a job. He's hired five or six people like that. No um, kidding. Absolutely, he has, and he nice. is—he is extremely excited about it, and he's on to something, at least in his area, with it, the way he's handling it. And uh, you know, a lot of it—a lot of it has to do with if you can find that right person, is you know, uh, being as long as they're positive and they've, and they've improved their lives, it's not the same person it was ten years ago. Just like that person you hired five years ago that all of a sudden got uh, a divorce. And all these other things change. That's not the same person either. Nobody's the same they were five years ago. So I, I, that's just in specifics to what what Jay from John's Window was talking about last night. And and to touch a little bit on that it, on the surface of that, I don't put much uh, stock into to job hopping anymore. I mean, you know, there's a lot of great people that have resumes that look like they you know quit two or three jobs, but one was working at a restaurant that closed down. Then he went to another one that closed down. Then he finally got something. And the guy said, I'd pay you 800 bucks a week and it's 400 bucks a week. Um, there's a lot of good people that had to go to three or four jobs in the last two and a half, three years. So I don't put so much into that anymore. I look at it, you've got to understand it and, and un understand why, but but to look at it and not give that person a chance, I think I think to be too rigid in this labor market, and I've got a lot of clients that are like that. You know, they they hire us, and and all of a sudden it's like, you know, we need to really dial this in really really good and spend a lot of money doing it. And and sometimes you're successful at that, but I think you miss out on a lot too.